Vampirella Strikes, issue number 7 from Dynamite Comics. So yeah, I've done a review for this series before. Uh, but basically, this series takes place in, I guess, an alternate universe or a different universe. In this world, Mistress Nyx is dead. She's been dead for 15 years. The world is slowly recovering. Uh, demons are well known. And in fact, demons, monsters, and humans all live together. Not necessarily in harmony but kind of like an un uneasy alliance. And Vampirella works for this group. She's basically a police officer. Her and her group's job is to take care of like monsters and supernatural cases and things like that. And so they hear about this cult of chaos and that they're eventually up to something. And the belief that Vampirella has is that they're trying to bring back Mistress Nyx and... Uh, is pretty much like the secret society. Kind of think of like the Illuminati in a sense. And one of the members is this old woman. But she happens to have been killed in the previous issue. They're able to recover her body. And Vampirella, with the help of one of her teammates, is going to take on the form. Like a disguise of this old woman. And she's going to sneak inside and try to gather as much evidence as she can on what they're trying to do. Again, she believes that they're trying to resurrect Mistress Nyx. So she's trying to figure out how are they going to pull this off? How are they going to resurrect Nyx? And so eventually she shows up and it's like this banquet. And we have all the members of the Cult of Chaos. We have a scene straight out of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Where uh, a feast is brought to them and the feast is disgusting. Only unlike Temple of Doom, the feast isn't snakes and monkey brains and bugs and stuff. Instead, it's a uh, human carcass. So yeah, um, there's like a plate of brain and eyeballs. There's limbs, hands, and stuff like that. And of course, Vampirella doesn't take any bite. She says she's not going to eat any of this. She's lost her appetite. She's too excited. And I'm like, all right, you already blew your cover right there. <laughs> like, you're, you're coming across very suspicious. Vampirella is not really good when it comes to disguises, apparently. But eventually, the, uh, I don't want to say the leader, but the one who's, like, really behind this plan um, decides to give them a little sneak peek about what they're working on. And so he shows them um, this body with the sheet covering it. And again, Vampirella thinks that it might be Nyx. And so after the... the meal is done she's able to go back to her hideout and she's discussing you know the plans with her team and she discovers all right i'm going to try to sneak in again i'm not going to wear a disguise this time because no one should be there i'm aware of the risks but there's too much at stake for me to not see if i can go there and stop it beforehand so she sneaks into the uh, the building she's able to get inside the area with the uh, the figure underneath the tarp and that's why she's attacked by demons and um do i want to continue no i'll stop it here the identity of who is under the sheets is revealed i am not going to say who it is or how it gets revealed i'm not gonna talk about if emperor is able to defeat these demons or if they get her or anything like that because i don't want to spoil anything i want you guys to check it out for yourself I will say that it was uh, a pretty good issue, especially for a week that's been, in my opinion, pretty poor. Then again, maybe it's just the stuff that I read. Like I don't read really anything from the big two. I don't read anything from DC at the moment. No, I don't read anything from DC. I, I was trying to recall if there was anything. Uh, as for Marvel, the only thing I read is Ghost Rider, which has still been really, really good. But I don't read anything else from them. And as for like other stuff, there really wasn't all that much. I mean, there was Robin Hood, which caught my interest. There was The Scorched, which I read, still kind of confusing at times. But yeah, I feel like this week has been kind of poor when it comes to really good, interesting comics. Maybe it's just because it's Thanksgiving week. But uh, yeah, this was actually not that bad of an issue. This was more of, like I said, this is like more of the undercover spy issue. Whereas previous stuff was Vampirella and her group trying to gather clues to take down you know, a terrorist group, and that one had more action. This one's more of like a secret 
cult that has like a new world order Illuminati kind of vibe to it and um, trying to sneak into their, their ranks so that she can find out what exactly they're trying to do, who they're trying to bring back, how they're going to try to bring that person back. And so, yeah, this was not so much action, just more of like talking and the whole um, uneasiness of if Vampirelle is going to get caught or not, stuff like that. But it was, a, it was a decent issue. Like, I find it entertaining. Well, would I grade it from 1 to 10? I would give it 6.5. It's above average. It's not great. It's not, like, amazing. But it's above average. So there you go. Vampirelle Strikes, issue number 7. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think. If there are any good comics that came out this week that you would recommend, uh, let me know. Because they're... Eh. It really wasn't. <laughs> it was kind of hard to find material, is what I'm going to say. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Later. So, what did you guys think of that video? Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.